the more positive feelings in 2023 were not cemented in. I'm not sure whether these are cemented in. But the longer this goes on, the more those things can become pretty hardcore and that judgment gets cast. And that's something, you know, that quite frankly will have to be figured out. I, I will tell you that if, if, if you want to be the party leader and you can't unite a party, it becomes very, very hard to win an election. Um, Brisenio, um, here's the thing about, about John. I think people generally, you know, Belizeans, like he has his people who like him, he has his people who don't like him. Um, he is not, uh, he's liked. Um, is he loved? I wouldn't go that far, that, like, but he's liked. He has his detractors who don't like him at all. But the truth of the matter is, you know, Philip and I were talking about this at lunch. Um, somebody had asked me this question, so I went and looked it up. You know, Dean Barrow, when Dean Barrow was at his zenith, 45% of Belizeans felt cold and negative towards him. And he got reelected with a really good margin, right? Because in politics, if you're above 50%, 51% of people, of people love you, you're going to be in power for a long time, even if 49% hate your guts. Donald Trump kind of proves that, right? I, I don't get the sense, though, that Bresenio is like a guy who there's just intense passion for one way or the other. Um, but he is liked. Um, Shine is in the odd circumstance where people kind of were hopeful they'd like them. They'd gone on like a first date. <laughs> that didn't go so great, but was not so bad? For some of them, it went so bad, we don't want another date. There are a lot of them who are like, yeah, you know. 